This little Suzuki was leaking oil, and we tracked it down to this guy. So let's fix it. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today, we are going to do a helicoil thread repair. So this Suzuki, it's my buddy's, it's a DRZ250. And he likes this little, little guy here. It's a plated little uh, enduro. He likes small air-cooled bikes and they're fun, they're cool. But uh, the uh, cam cover has been leaking on it for quite a while and I was the last guy to work on it. So I said, bring it back. He brought it over here and we noticed that we could not tighten up that uh, cam cover bolt, the one that I pointed out there. The threads are stripped out on it. So let me show you what we are going to do. We got kind of fortunate on this because uh, we can just remove this cam cover here right off of the bike very easily and bring it over to the bench to work on it. Otherwise, we'd have to work on it here. And it's not in terrible access, but it'll be easier to work on in the bench, on the bench. And uh, what I have purchased here is a helicoil uh, repair kit, thread repeller kit. Yeah, this is top quality Chinesium here. Not suitable for chill drilling. Anyway, that's out of work. Um, it's got a really odd thread pitch, M7 by 1.0. So before you do any sort of a thread repair um, job, you need to know what size threads you're dealing with. And uh, having a tap and die set kind of helps. So you can use, uh, there's a thread gauge right here, or you can just run um, a tap down until you feel which one feels right. Anyway, that's what we're going to use. So my first step is going to be removing this cam cap. I'll get that off, bring it over to the bench. It may have been hard to see when it was on the bike, but uh, hopefully you can see in there, there's hardly any threads remaining. So what you want to do with your thread repair kit, helicoil, I think is a uh, trademark name, whatever, but uh, what you should get with one of these is uh, it may come with a drill bit or it may specify a drill bit and then you'll get a tap and then you'll have an insert tool and you should have a little tool here also to break off the tail of your helicoil. And this is what a helicoil is. It's a thread insert. So on the outside, it's whatever size this tap is. And that's usually not a standard size tap. Um, it's a helicoil size tap. And then on the inside, this should be the same threads as this bowl. So let's set you up and double check that. I got 20 of these to mess up in case I don't do it right the first time. So we can check that. There you go, look at that. And these things are kind of just like a, almost like a spring. Some people hate these, but they're used in aviation. Um, so, I mean, it's a very common repair. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to drill this out with this drill. What I'll probably do is I'll use this thing here to measure how far down that goes. There we go. Now we know it goes that far. I'll put a little bit of tape on this drill so I don't drill farther than that. All right, I went ahead and drilled that little cork stuffer out. So now we're going to run the tap in there and I just grabbed a I don't know what size that is, 7, 30 seconds, but it's a 12-point socket because a tap is four sides. You can use a crescent wrench on that, or if you have a tap and die set, you can use a tap wrench. But uh, you want to very carefully get that thing started. So you want to try to get it nice and straight. I've seen people use a uh, drill to put these in, but... It's hard to get it started exactly straight, so I am going to uh, 
back up and use both hands. Put the camera down here. We'll come back in a second. All right, I got her feeding in there pretty good right now. Since we're going into aluminum, this is pretty easy. If you're running a tap for whatever, cutting threads or for cutting threads for a helicoil in uh, steel, make sure you're using like some sort of a lubrication on that thing. Cutting fluid, even just a little bit of penetrating oil is fine. So we'll run this thing down and then back it out. And then we're gonna clean all these shavings up. So I'll be right back. There she be, already drilled, tapped. I cleaned it out with some uh, no name brand brake cleaner, blew it out with the air compressor. Now, here's our little insertion tool. You can see it's got this slot in it. it goes right into that little tab or tang or whatever you want to call it on there. Now, what I like to do on these as well is put a little bit of uh, thread sealing on them. I thought I had some red, but I've got this stuff, which is, I think it's the green or whatever. Any of it will be better than none of it. And now we just got to get this little fella started in here nicely. So let's see what we can do. Sometimes they want to fight you a little bit, but you just got to go nice and smooth. Try to get it in there. There you go. Fortunately, these cam cover um, bolts don't take a lot of torque. Um, I wouldn't put a helicoil on something that's going to require a massive amount of torque. You can. It's a common repair for spark plugs, so... Alright, we're getting close. It's fighting me a little bit, though. Come on, you can do it. We're almost there. Just trying to get it flush. I think we've got her. I think we've got her. Oh, maybe one more, one more little bit of a turn here. All right. Well, it looks like our, looks like our tab broke off. The last little bit. Let's see it. Let's see in there can't see it but what you're supposed to do when you get it finally in there is that little tab that you screwed it in with you use this little fella and you tap that off of there but I think that thing just snapped and we have one one thread just above which may or may not cause us trouble we'll see so we're gonna let that set up a little bit I was able to get this thing driven in a little bit more where I was failing was this uh, little stopper. I had that adjusted a little too shallow. So I slid that up a little bit, tightened it up, and we still do have our little tab on the bottom of there. So let's see if we can knock that off. This, the hammer. Oh yes, we'll get a full on action shot. Okay, let's see if that did it. There it is. Let's see if it works. Feels pretty decent. All right, now all we gotta do is just reinstall this thing, put the cam cover back on here, and uh, hopefully no more leaks. Happy Suzuki. There you go, thread repair. It's not too difficult, but there are times when it can be stressful. Like I said, if you gotta do that on a spark plug hole, 
a little bit different um, procedure, but basically the same idea. And um, if you need to buy a kit, most auto parts stores have them, unless you have a weird thread pitch like an M7 by 1.0, then you're stuck buying it online and it's some weird, crazy Chinese stuff. All right, if you're liking my content, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.